What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Javon Kinlaw, defensive tackle out of South Carolina. Um, big fan of this guy. I think he's kind of raw. Um, I think his best position is a 3-tech and a 4-3 scheme. Um, I, th I think overall he's better off in a 4-3 scheme. Um, I guess if he does get drafted to a team in a 3-4, put him at defensive end. Um, three, four defensive end. I'm, I mean, I don't think that's where he's best at, but it would be the best situation for him in a three, four. Um, now, South Carolina moves this guy around quite a bit. They have him playing one, three, and five. Um, one being nose, three being uh, well, three tech, like right in B gap, and then five being defensive end. Um, I wouldn't put him out at in a, on Ed at the edge spot. But uh, you can do that because he's got the athleticism. But personally, I would just let him play in B-gap in a 4-3 scheme and, and just let him tear shit up. I think that's what he would be best at. Um, he's not like a natural run reader or a natural pass rusher. Um, most of what he does comes off of pure athleticism and talent. Um, which means he's kind of raw to me. Um, like I said, he's super athletic and he, he, he just needs to learn quite a bit in the league. I, I think that he's probably got the best ceiling out of any defensive tackle in this class, but, um, I just think he has a lot to learn still. Like I said, he's really powerful. He's really quick. Um, he's got all these things. He's got really good bursts. He's got good length, all that. But um, he just needs a really good defensive line coach because, um, like I said, he doesn't re really read the run too well. Um, his pass rushing skills, he mostly just out-athletes people. And um, he doesn't really use his hands too much. I mean, sometimes he'll, uh, he shows flashes of it. Like, he kind of does this thing where he'll pull cloth at the uh, shoulder pad. But he doesn't do it consistently, and I'd like to see him... Um, get a few more tools and improve the ones he has. He also has a little bit of a swim move developing, but it's not really that great yet. But um, I don't want it to sound like I'm hating on this guy. I'm not because I think this guy has a lot of potential. I just think he needs to, some really good co some good coaching. Um, but that doesn't mean he can't start day one. I think his athleticism allows him to be able to start day one. Just get with a really good defensive line coach and improve those skills while you're playing. Um, even if he doesn't actually start right away, um, I would at least bring him in on like third down situations, like passing situations, let him play three tech for you and then just let him use his athleticism to beat guards. Um, but that's why I want to line him up in B gap because when you're a three tech, you don't really have to read as much. You don't really have to be as good with your hands because most of the time you're going to be in uh, one on one situations. And I think that would be best for Javon Kinlaw. Um, in a pinch, you could play him at, at, at one, especially on like a passing down, I guess. Um, but one thing I will say about him is when he gets blocked, he kind of just gets stuck because he doesn't really have other moves. Like if his athleticism doesn't win him the battle, then he's kind of stuck. And that's where, his, that's where he does require some coaching. And that doesn't mean that he doesn't have a motor because he does. He is, it's, it's not that he just stops trying. It's just that He's raw, and he needs to learn extra skills to be able. When the offensive lineman stops this, stops the thing he uses to win, he needs to have other tools to try. Uh, with his athleticism, I'd love to see him pull off a spin move, or you know, pull some cloth more consistently, improve that swim move he's got developing, maybe develop a bull rush, you know, uh, start defeating those hands and stuff like that. If, if he does stuff like that, and really gets a good coaching staff and really develops. I think this guy can be a really, really good defensive tackle down the line. Um, but I think he's going to be okay even right now. Now, I know a lot of people are liking him over um, Derek Brown. I am definitely not one of them. Um, I love both of them. Um, and, I mean, Derek Brown is more of a one-tech, but you can play Derek Brown at three-tech, too. But it just depends on what you're looking for. Like, I think Derek Brown is more polished. I think he's more ready to go right now. But I think with good coaching, I think Javon Kinlaw has a much higher ceiling. So it, it, it just depends on what you're looking for. If you've already got a solidified D 
defense, but you just want maybe you have a defensive tackle that has a contract problem in the next couple of years, then maybe you can develop this dude and replace to replace him. That's a possibility. So uh, it just depends on what you're looking for. But um, yeah. Anyway. I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.